was on the threshing floor the other day and I wasn't really seeking God for a word. I was on the threshing floor because that is a place that he has designed for me to go to get a word for myself. And the Lord was dealing with me about something and I'm going to be as brief as I possibly can and we'll pick it up on tomorrow. But while I was praying, something came to me and as a matter of fact, the first time it came to me, I correct that I was driving out on the highway. I was on my way to the threshing floor and for some reason I took a detour and I was in Waycross, Georgia and I began to drive down the highway going all the way to Tifton and I didn't even know where I was riding but the music was on and, and I went all the way to Tifton and on my way back, something came up in my spirit very powerful that I really couldn't explain the feeling. And I heard this come up out of my spirit. And this will be the theme of your life, not just the theme of this conference. The conference already has a theme, but the theme of our lives, those of you that are watching, is the power of the unsnatchable treasure. The unsnatchable treasure. A treasure that cannot be snatched. God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, the 12th chapter and the 35th verse, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. The Bible said he knows the thoughts that he thinks of you and they are good and not evil. And how many know that God is ready to give you your expected end? I hardly hear nobody saying that unless it's my ear monitors. I said the Lord is ready to give you your expected end. You sit next to somebody right now and they haven't responded. They're not expecting nothing and move your seat. Because this is life changing. Dr. Wilson, this is a conference like no other that I have ever done because this is the conference of transformation and transition. This is the year that we all shift out of one place and into another place, never to come back to this place again. I got to make an announcement that Juanita Bynum, as you know her, you will never see that one again. Oh, I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. Some of y'all looking at me kind of funny because you ain't used to seeing me look like this, but you can't hold me hostage in a white dress because there's more to the treasure. And it's unsnatchable, not even by the church. And if we're not careful, the church will try to snatch your treasure. The book of 2 Corinthians and the fourth chapter in the seventh verse says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. The excellency. I, wanted, I, I just want to talk right there. The excellency. A lot of spirituality, a lot of spirituality, says the Hilliard, but no excellency. Ooh, my God. Know how to shout, but no excellency. Lord Jesus, know how to put a program together, but, but no excellency. So when there is no power of God, y'all ain't saying that, then you can expect and half done, a half done project. And so the things that we praise in the church as being magnificent is undone because it's not excellent. And we don't strive for excellency because we try to cover up our inadequacies with our spirituality. 
reality. Oh, God will fix it. Oh, God will take care of it. Oh, I'm sorry I messed up. Oh, we didn't practice today with the choir, so y'all just pray for us a little bit, and the Lord going to try to do this. And so we shout off of spirit, and we have not put a demand on the body of Christ for excellency. We don't want you to half sing anymore. We don't want you to half play anymore. And that's the reason why the world is outdoing us. Because everything that they do, they do it with excellency. Their sound is excellent. Their music is excellent. Their singers are excellent. Y'all not going to talk to me. Their businesses are excellent. The church is the only thing that don't think excellency is necessary. And so instead of using the Spirit of God to drive us forward, we use it as a cover-up. Oh, Lord, I'm, uh, you know what? I can't, I can't hardly get this out. You know, we use it as a cover-up. Hmm. Pray for me. I want y'all to pray for me. You know, we don't, we don't really kind of outran the word pray for me. Pray for me. We don't even know what a miracle is. <laughs> Lord Jesus. God gave me a miracle because you know what happened to me? You know, no, no, no. You're going to find out why you're here this weekend. You know what happened to me? The Lord gave me a miracle because, because the Lord, you know, he, he fixed it so that, you know, I didn't even have my rent. And I, I didn't have my light bill and my gas bill. And God paid it. That is not a miracle. That is a rebuke to you. Because if you got a job and God had to touch somebody's heart to give you your rent money, that means something in your finances are out of order. That is not a miracle. It is not a testimony. It's a reproach to the kingdom. And God is tired of it. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. He said, I'll make a way out of no way. You already got a way. You just don't have discipline because you don't have the power of God. Because the real power of God brings Oh Lord, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, if you can't say amen, just repent. Come on, because you're going to get it right because you're coming out of bondage. Just repent for overspending. Just repent because you didn't, oh y'all, I'm not hearing y'all. I, 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 can't, I, can't really go. I can't really go right there like that. Because we don't even know, we don't even know what a, what a, what a, what a, what a treasure. Let me just, let me just, let me just read something to you right quick. Let me just read something to you right quick. It says that a treasure is a quantity of precious metals or gems. Watch this. Other valuable objects. That's what we think. That's the one we live in right there. You know, money, house, cars, pay my bills. Um, uh, the informal word for treasure in the noun version is a person Watch this. When the speaker uh, who loves to hear someone speak is valued for the assistance they can give. So then, mm, 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 mm. then when I go to the informal version, if I don't have anything that I value that brings me assistance, I don't have a treasure. Okay, can I, can I, can I, can I, make, that, can I make that make sense a little bit? In all that getting, get understanding. In all that getting, get wisdom. You, you don't do nothing without wisdom. And without wisdom, you don't have a treasure. You know a lot of scriptures, but you don't know the way. You got a lot of tongues, but you don't know the way in the world. That's why the church hide in the church. Oh, yo, the minute something said, somebody start saying, oh, Prophet Bynum was in a movie. I saw some of your faces like, what? No, you scared. You chicken. And the reason why you hide in the church is because you're afraid of the world. Because you don't know what to say to them. Because you're broke. 